Yo, what's up everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. Welcome in and welcome back. As always, appreciate you for stopping by. For those of you that are new, my name is Silky Creamy and I do very niche review videos of uh, shaving products and skincare products. I take a deep dive look at these products inside and out, um, up and close on up and close personal and uh give you guys uh just a better look at this product um and then uh, i compare my first impressions with what the artisan um says and which is what is inside the product and also um their inspiration behind the product and kind of give you guys uh, um, and ladies a better idea about this product um and that way you guys can make a decision on whether or not you guys folks want to pick it up at some point um or not so as always if you're returning i appreciate you so much for being here um really 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 do appreciate you folks each one of you um so let's get started folks we're doing today at modic which has got some beautiful art very very old school um again hand powered foot powered um you know you have this old um uh, feel to it um it reminds me of that one disney movie um that i don't remember um but had a really really old um feel to it where you have like uh foot propelled uh flying uh contraptions back in the day and that's what i get from this a very very old school um almost um really really um, um turn of the age uh type feel so you have this um balloon um with it looks like steam powered right you get the pipes going up create that hot air you got a light here a light here which is pretty cool and um yeah it's almost like a boat, a flying boat. Atmodic. Very, very cool label. Beautiful sky look. It's got a really, really nice art. Whoever did this did a really nice job. It's really, really nice. Atmodic comes in their Crown King or CK1, as people refer to it, uh, is, which is a very good soap. It's a see through. Kind of cream colored soap. Let's go ahead and take our first look. It's very dark colored. Makes me think woods, um, tobacco, just by the color, uh, spice maybe. But as you can see, this is quite a nice pour. You know, very similar to CK6. Uh, I've used CK1 before. It's very good. Um, so if you don't want to spend the extra $10 for all the other butters, um, a CK1 soap is definitely good enough um, for sure. Really, really good. It's, in, in fact, good enough is really not the right word. Um, it's, it's a really great product. CK6 is just over the top and just, and just insane. Uh, first smell yeah so definitely picking up some sandalwood there's some woods in here different woods a little bit of spice but a nice soap so a little bit more refined darker um uh woody just very um yeah mellow um darker scent Let's go ahead and read from the website because I'm very interested to see what's inside this. Um, oh, you can actually get this in CK6 also. Um, Atmodic is quite cleverly... Okay, I'm going to start this again. Atmodic quite clever, cleverly evokes the spirit of travel. Aged oak, dogwood, patchouli, and ginger. Wow. Bold, well-traveled, and cultured. Atmodic was originally offered as the exclusive soap that came with our shatterproof travel scuttle, as many of you know. But everyone who tried it freaked, for real. 
People got mad that it wasn't available in full size. The angry emails were off the hook. Note, there were also some very reasonable folks shooting us emails and private messages as well, which we appreciated and took to heart. Originally, the goal was to create something special and exclusive to include with the Travel Scuttle. Simple as that. I didn't want folks getting a sample soap they already owned, but it soon became clear we were going to have to release a full line of Atmotic or inadvertently incite a riot. Honestly, when I created the blend, I knew there would be trouble. The stuff is really just good. It possesses a depth that is simply profound, robust, think 19th century adventurous. What is Atmotic? Imagine a floating barbershop set up on the deck of an ancient airship and you would immediately understand this very unique scent blend. Scent profile. Atmotic quite... Okay, we did that already. Um, all right, so that's it. That is it, folks. Um, let's go ahead and smell the aftershave. It's got some color to it, which is pretty cool, right? So, woods. What's inside this one? Uh, yarrow hydrosol. Yeah. I've never heard of yarrow. Or let's reduce our inside there. Interesting. So this definitely has more. Yeah, it has some of the woods, but I think it has more a little bit more of the patchouli. It's a nice smell. Nice woody, dark, um, just, you know, um, I would consider it, yeah, robust. Um, a robust wood. And there you have it. At Modic, folks. Hope you folks enjoyed. Um, again, you can get this um, in CK6. I got this in CK1. And um, yeah, we'll just go from there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know if you guys ever tried the soap from the Scuttle. Because um, I remember um, watching uh, Molecular Shave do his review on it. He thought the soap was amazing. <laughs> Which is exactly what, what uh, Douglas wrote on the website. Um, I never open my scuttle. Uh, my scuttle is um, unopened. It's there. I'm saving it as a collectible so it's not opened. So I have no idea what it smelled like. But yeah, hearing what he, he um, his experience, I wanted to pick it up. So, so yeah. Anyway, I hope you folks enjoyed. Um, again, I appreciate you guys stopping by. And this is at Modic from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, take care of one another out there. Let's be there for each other, and um, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.